Step 1. Assemble the frame. Assemble the left Y-axis assembly, mount B on A from the side. Secure it with three screws in total from the top and the side. Assemble the right Y-axis assembly, mount C on A from the side. Secure it with three screws in total from the top and the side. Assemble the rear panel assembly. Mount D to B and C from the rear. Secure them with six screws in total from the top and the side. Step 2. Connect the Y-axis motor. Flip the machine upside down with its bottom facing up. 
insert the cable into the port of the Y-axis motor. Flip the machine again. Step 3. Assemble the X-axis assembly. Place E, the X-axis assembly, on the top of the machine. Then install the end with cable box of E on the block of B with two screws. Install the other end of E on the block of C with two screws. Step 4. Connect the limit switch. Insert the Y-axis limit switch terminal into the adapter of the cable box. Step 5. Mount laser assembly. Pull down the lever. Install the laser module on the fixture. Lift up the lever to secure it in place. Insert the air pipe into the hole of the laser module. Put the air pipe and main cable through the hole under the Y-axis. Step 6. Connect the main cable to the main board. Insert the cables into the ports of the main board that match the color with the cables. Step 7. Assemble the motor extension shaft. Let the short stick go through coupling. Do not tighten the screws on the coupling. Install the motor extension shaft into the coupling. Finally, tighten the screws on coupling. Step 8. Tighten the belt. Install a screw into the tension hole on E.
test the movement of the ladle module to ensure smooth operation. If it moves smoothly, it indicates that the belt tension is properly adjusted. Insert two screws into the tension holes on D. Slide the x-axis while adjusting the screws to ensure that the belt is in the optimal tension state. Gently plug the belt and listen to the sound to determine the tension level. The sound of both belts should be the same. If they are not the same, adjust the belt screws and plug the belts again. Listen to the sound until both sides produce the same sound. Then tighten the screws on the belt tensioner. Adjust tensioner limit screw. Adjust the tensioner limit screw appropriately, ensuring not to over tighten it as it will prevent belt adjustment. Step 9. Connect the power supply. Insert the USB cable into the USB port and connect the other end to the computer to establish a connection between the computer and the machine. Insert the power cord into the 24W 4A socket to power on the machine. Step 10. Connect the air pump. Insert the power cable into input or output socket. Install the air pipe on the top of the air pump. and find the pipe on the side of the machine. Connect the other end of the air pipe with the metal connector to the pipe on the machine. Press the power button on the laser machine to kick start. Press the plus button to increase the air volume, minus button for decreasing. 